me, let me ask that again, church. How many of you guys are free this morning? Amen? So I know here at New Life, we love, we love songs that do with freedom, right? We love those because most of the freedom songs, they do with motions and all that stuff. But how many of you guys know what it means to be free? Amen? So last month, uh, the youth, we were studying the book of Galatians, and I believe all the Bible study groups were studying the book of Galatians, and, you know, it was talking about false prophets and the law. But Paul talks about freedom and slavery a lot in that book. And I'm going to read a verse in Galatians 5.13. I'm going to put it up there. It says, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters. Use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. Amen? You see, when we hear about freedom, some of us get it twisted and we think that, okay, you know, I'm free, so that means I can do whatever I want, right? That, you know, I can go out there and sin all I want and, you know, God's grace is there, so he's going to, you know, forgive me no matter what. But what, what, what Paul is talking about here when freedom is that we don't have the freedom to do whatever we want, but we have the freedom to live in Christ. Amen. We have the freedom to live for Christ and do what he wills for our lives. And so don't get that, don't get that twisted. Jesus fulfilled the law. He didn't get, you know, he didn't get rid of it and say, okay, do whatever you want. But he said, we have the freedom to live for him. We are no longer bounded to slavery to the law. We are no longer bounded to slavery to sin because Jesus' sacrifice has set us free. Amen. But for many of us, you know, we go out there and we act like we're not free. We willingly go back and, I, you know, I always say this, but for some of us, it's like we, we go back to the chains that was holding us down and we start putting them back on our hands and on our feet. When we start giving in to sin, when we start giving in to all of those things of this world, we're giving ourselves back into slavery. But Jesus has called us to live in freedom, amen? So as we sing this song this morning... Proclaim that freedom over your lives. Proclaim your freedom over sin. Proclaim your freedom over the law and just let's live freely for our Lord. Amen. Father God, we just come before you today and we just thank you. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. We had an extra hour of sleep, God. And above all else, Lord, we want to thank you for the freedom that we live in right now. Lord, for many of us, we take our freedom for granted. We go back into sin. We start giving in to the ways of this world. And what we're doing when we do that is putting those chains back in us. We're closing those prison doors once again. But as your people, we have been called to live in freedom. You have set us free. And so this morning, we're just going to lift up a shout of praise. We're going to lift up our hearts, our lives unto you. Lord, may our freedom never be lost to us, God. May we never lose sight of the value of that freedom that you have given us. And may we stop living like slaves and start living freely, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We're just going to lift up your name. We're going to give you all the praise that you deserve this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
some of us here were enslaved by our chairs, right? The blue chairs. Or maybe your neighbor is in the way of you from running around, from dancing, from, from jumping, from praising God this morning. But let me ask you again, church, how many of you are free? How many of you are free? And so I want to open up the entire sanctuary. If you want to go in the aisles, just tell the, the, your brother, your sister next to you, like, excuse me, but I am free and I got to praise my God this morning. So can you please move out of the way or come and join me in the aisles? Come and join me in the front. And we're going to sing this again because our God has set us free. Amen. New life. Here we go. Five. I'm going to put it up there. It says, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each, each other. So you are not free to carry out your good intentions. Verse 18 says, but when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. As we sing this next song, let's just invite this Spirit to just dwell in this place, to dwell within our hearts, to dwell within our families, to dwell within our homes, our jobs, our schools.
one more time and proclaim this over your lives of this bread in Galatians it says that we need more of the Holy Spirit in our lives we need the Holy Spirit to guide us that is the answer that is the key church we need the Holy Spirit's guidance upon our lives because we can't do it on our own we shouldn't do it on our own so as we sing this chorus one more time 
whatever struggle it is that you're going through, whatever problem, whatever trial, no matter how great it seems, it talks about walls falling down. Proclaim this over your lives. Proclaim the Holy Spirit over your lives, over that problem, over your relationships, over your marriages. Just lift up your voice and receive the Spirit of God. of your blood, Lord, we have grace, we have another chance at life, we have a reason to live, all because of your blood, hallelujah, Lord,
you once again for your sacrifice that gave us freedom. Lord, may we forever just be in awe of that sacrifice. May we always hold true to that. That everything that we do be dictated by that fact that you died on the cross for us. This morning, we just give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. That you and 